because the NWA, the whole situation is fascinating because you had such a relationship with them in various ways for so long. How did you first get in touch with the NWA and what was it like at that time? I mean, when we did started WLW, Harley and Gordon, well, Gordon mostly, Gordon solely pushed me to join the NWA. Uh, so he introduced me to Howard Brody, uh, who passed, unfortunately, last year. He was the president of the NWA at the time. And I had to buy the Missouri Territory from also the late Ed Schumann out of Chicago uh, for $500. And, <laughs> and I was the promoter in Missouri for a while. And uh, it was on again, off again uh, as a member. Um, uh, when I left Missouri, Harley decided he didn't want to be a part of it anymore. Him and Howard had a disagreement. And so Howard kicked uh, WLW out of the NWA. And when I came back to California um, uh, and started up with New Japan Pro Wrestling, I felt that the New Japan name wasn't strong enough in the U.S. Uh, to do anything. And Antonio Noki was the NWA member in Japan, even though Zero One was using it. I was the vice president of New Japan USA. And so I used the proxy towards my advantage to try to get the, uh, the, the LA dojo over. And it was all about votes. And then California became available. And so then I personally, David Marquez became the promoter in California while New Japan was the Japanese uh, member. And so I had two votes. <laughs> there's so much to dive into and there's so much fascinating stuff between the japan and the la dojo just dial back though with the nwa what was it actually like as a member in the vote what was the role because you think back to the nwa the classic nwa right and you know you had the get togethers where they would talk about um who's in who's out who's the champion who's not how was that different in you know 99 2000 it was it wasn't Really, it was, it was the exactly, same. It was exactly the same. And I started going to the NWA meetings, I think, in 94. Wow, that early. 90, or, or 95. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So from there, you had the New Japan. How did that relationship mm -hmm. begin? Uh, Rick Bassman. Uh, Rick Brass Bassman brought me in to speak to Simon and Oki for something. And the dojo was already up and running. Uh, Justin McCauley was in charge of the training of his brother, Sean. Uh, both ended up being in UFC later. Um, I can't remember why Rick took me in, but we, I was in there for something. And Simon Anoki took to me and called me on my way home and asked if I could go back to the dojo. And I did. And we talked. And he hired me as the uh, director of new business uh, as a freelance role because I was still working at Disney at the time. Um, and I was in Orange County, and they were in... Uh, Santa Monica. So what did that um, role entail? Uh, I was just to create, be able to use my Rolodex and create business opportunities for New Japan. So at the time, uh, my first big deal I did was the Eddie Guerrero uh, DVD. Um, and they had New Japan matches on the DVD. Uh, so I negotiated that deal. Um, and then a couple other TV licensing representing TV Asahi and New Japan with the WWE. Um, I think the guy's name was Tom Baraka, I want to say, uh, who I dealt with at the WWE studios or the library back then, or the archive. Um, and then, oh, and then from the NWA point of view, when I got back into that, I was the liaison between Jerry Jarrett. Uh, TNA and the NWA and New Japan. So when you started seeing the New Japan talent on TNA back then, that was me who uh, initiated that stuff. Um, and then I was a recruiter too. So I I brought everybody from Carl Anderson to uh, Finn Balor to tons of Australians, um, Alex Kozlov. Uh, the list goes on and on. I don't want to miss anybody on and on and on and on of all the talents that I brought together at the LA Dojo. And they are all virtually uh, what makes up uh, network corporate pro wrestling today. Yeah. I say this with all due respect, you are in many ways the Forrest Gump of wrestling. If there's something happening, <laughs> you have your hands in it somewhere. You're there for it. 
<laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> But again, I mean it with all the respect in the world. But no, 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 it's fine. That that movie didn't make any money either, so I, I get it. <laughs>